Hello everyone, my name is Kamal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the very basics of color grading using what's called a LUT and maybe get your footage to looking like this from what was once this and maybe even go to this, that or even this. So without further ado, let's just get it rolling. Okay, so welcome back. First things first, you want to make sure that you have a few LUTs installed. If you don't know what a LUT is, it's basically like a Lightroom preset, but for your videos. And usually you can buy them from many creators all over the internet. But there's this free pack from Rocket Stock that I use, and I'll show you right now how to download it. But if you already have your LUTs and want to skip this part in the download and installing process, jump to the time that's right on screen. Okay, so first of all, you'll want to open the website that I left down below in the description and download these, okay? And once you download them, you're gonna get a folder. Once you open DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, depending on where you do, I do on DaVinci, you can open the settings right here and then go to Color Management and open LUT folder. And you can drop the folder right here, it's this one. So you just drop it in the LUT folder and you're done. After that, you might wanna restart your DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so right now I'm gonna run you through the very basics of color grading and for that we're gonna start by opening up our DaVinci Resolve and as you can see I have a few clips here, I'm gonna use this one which was today's intro and we're gonna color grade it. So this is straight out of camera footage and as you can clearly tell it's very standard footage, it's not log or anything. If you don't know what log is, it's basically a sort of flat color profile that makes it way easier to color grade because everything is flat so you have full control over the colors and it has way more dynamic range. But it's only available on higher end cameras, which I don't have. And so I'm going to show you how to color grade this kind of footage. So let's start. What you're going to do first is open the color tab. Then you're going to click on gallery, then LUTs. And then you're gonna click on the clips here, so you have your clips below, especially if you're editing a longer video. As you can see, these are the LUTs that you probably just downloaded, but as you can clearly tell, they're very ugly <laughs> on their footage, and that's because, again, they're made for log, but there's a workaround for that, and I'm gonna show you. So what you're gonna do is get down here on contrast, and lower the contrast to around, usually I do it to 500, but you can go even lower if necessary until you can see that your footage is looking really flat, like this, right? And then, right here I'm gonna use my favorites just because they're way less. And now you can see that the looks are way better. And I'm gonna use the neon one, this is the one I use usually for my videos. You just drag and drop it right here. And then you start to raise the contrast again until you have the image that you want. And that looks pretty clean to me, that's usually what I go for. But there are many other styles you can achieve. Let's try another one. So I command Z. And we could use the McKinnon one. I like this one. It's not by Peter McKinnon. It's in the Rocket Stock pad. But it's clearly very inspired by Peter. So you drag and drop. And we raise the contrast until it looks actually good. Now this one looks a bit weird on me because I have very red cheeks. But I mean it does the job. This is the style of the lot. And it looks really good. And this is basically how you apply a lot, but there are many other things that you can play with. So you have these sorts of sliders here. To me, the most important one right here is the gain one, because it basically controls the general brightness, right? And some LUTs might make your footage look a bit dark, so with this you can get some of this darkness back to light. But I'm just gonna reset that now. The curve is the one that I like the most, so I'm gonna command Z, right? I'm gonna command Z until we're back to the flat profile. I'm gonna put our contrast back to one. Okay, and so right now we're back to standard footage. What I used to do before I knew how to use LUTs is basically use the curve to get the image to a style that I kinda like. So you flatten a bit the shadows and then get your highlights a bit down and then flatten it a bit. Now this is, again, it's not as nice as a LUT, but this is how you can control the light. As you can see, Everything that's up here is controlling the lighter parts, and this is the shadows. So these are highlights, these are shadows, so you can brighten the shadows and darken the highlights. And then you can, you know, use this to fine-tune it, but we're not gonna do that. Let's go back to our LUTs here, we're gonna try another one. So lower the contrast, around 500, maybe a bit lower even. 
And let's see which one we might try. We could use maybe this. Let's see something that's... Yeah, this is pretty easy to discern. Let's use this one. Again, raise contrast. And then as you can see, it's a bit too bright. And that's where you lower the gain a bit. You see, you get some details back on my face. Now let's try the last one. We're gonna try... Uh, I don't know. This one. So we're gonna apply this. And then we start raising the contrast. Now this one is a way more natural look, as you can see, but it's still a bit flattened. This is how it looks without the color. This is with this grade. So as you can see, it gets this sort of flat modern look. And this is the very basic of color grading. It's, as you can see, pretty simple, but it's pretty important and can have very drastic changes on your footage. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video or what I should do next. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to leave a like and peace out, guys.